Yes. Huh? That's so. Bridge. It's our way in. Well, it just had to be a sewer, didn't it? Let's wrap this up quick. Hey, I'm in good shape. Uh, uh, just leave me. Uh, I can't swim anymore. Looks like we can get up from there. Hang in there, Nama. Can we really get to the Siryu clan HQ through this rat hole? Yeah, no doubt about it. Still, I have heard some rumors about some real weirdos shacking up here. Stay on guard. Got to do something. <laughs> 
Not bad. Should I open it?
してんのか若い頃を思い出すのだ Let's get it done! with this. Hey. Totally. Who 
looks like we were able to sneak in. Where are we? The Seiryu clan courtyard? The chairman's room's up there, right? Yeah, no way I'd forget it. Man, that takes me back. It was just us three. First time we came here. Whoa, hey! The hell did you come from? Uh-oh. So much for getting nostalgic, huh? Right. Guess it's a fight, then. Now let's rock and roll! Adachi-san! Namba! The battle is on! Yeah. Let's go! Have fun with this! Hell of a scrap back there. Safe to say, they'll be hounding us. <laughs> that just means we don't gotta sneak around anymore. We're going all the way to the top. Let's go! 
Should I open it? Sweet! Ready when you are. in here. Nobody sneaks into Saryu HQ and gets away with it. You three are dead meat. Damn it. German's room's right there, too. Shit. What's the plan, Ichiban? This guy's on a good one. <laughs> He's just what we wanted. After all, every dungeon needs a tough boss at the end. Let's do it! This guy hits hard. If we can't knock him down, maybe we can toss him around. Watch this. Let's get it done! I'm in now. 
get a light. They're weak. All right. Open one. Let's go. You're in it now. Got it. Don't get him. Get serious. Let's go. Going in. No mercy. That's all you got. Yeah. Chairman's just passed here, yeah? Yeah. Stay on your toes. All right. We'll see that it's settled before next week's meeting. Precisely. We'll accept their proposal. Is that all? Very well. I'll be in touch. <clears throat> My apologies. I had to see that through. I've been managing things in Chairman Takabe's absence. I am Ebida, the clan captain. It's a pleasure to meet you, Ichiban Kasuga-san. So what? You hear about us from Takabe or something? Yes. I've heard a great deal, too. And Takabe? He's still locked up, right? In short, one of ours got busted and the chairman took the brunt of it. He's set to be released in two years. And what about you? You're filling in for him while he's away, right? I don't remember seeing you around before. I'm a new addition. I didn't join the Seiryu until after the Great Dissolution. And you're already captain? You sure climbed the ladder fast. Based on that, you must be pretty good. You flatter me. But you see, with the death of the previous chairman and the chaos that followed the Great Dissolution, well, the fact of the matter is we were short-handed. To be even more blunt about it, my promotion was based entirely on how well I earned. As a Yakuza, however, that's not really something to be proud of. Hey, you're humble, at least. <laughs> Let's get back on topic. Chairman Takabe told me what you did for the Serial Clan, among others. The Ejin Three are all very much indebted to you. Please excuse me for not reaching out sooner. Yeah, appreciate you rolling out the red carpet. We take security matters quite seriously here. Unless I give explicit permission, any intruders are to be eliminated on sight. Unfortunately, it seems there was a delay in giving orders, even after I'd confirmed it was you. Maybe relax your grip on the place then, huh? One wrong move and we'd be feeding the fish right now. Huh. If I told my men to stand down first thing, I would never have seen our heroes of Yokohama in action. 
As acting head of the Seryu clan, it's my responsibility to determine who we do business with. Surely you understand. Well, I guess we're the ones who barged in. Wouldn't be right for us to complain about it. <laughs> you have my thanks. Anyway, Ebina-san, the reason we came here... Yes, I'm aware. It's about Sasaki-san. Is that right? <laughs> that certainly saves us some time. Where do you think we're headed? Maybe the mountains. You know, so they can bury us in the woods? Far from it. We're en route to a warehouse at the wharf. And we gotta go all the way to the harbor just to talk about Sasaki? Well, seeing is believing, as they often say. After the Great Dissolution four years ago, even some Seryu clan members were ready to leave the Yakuza life behind. Chairman Takabe, in light of this, encouraged them to do just that. However, one major obstacle stands between an ex-Yakuza and the outside world. The five-year ex-Yakuza clause, right? Yeah, correct. As long as that's in place, former Yakuza are unlikely to find decent work, forcing many onto the streets. Knowing what might await them, the first thing the chairman did was provide a way one might make an honest living. And what's that? You'll see. In fact, we're almost there. We bought the warehouse the Liu Mang had been using some time ago. It's here we gather trash from all four corners of the globe. Trash? I say trash, but in reality, it's a little more complicated than that. Rather, it's things one can no longer afford to keep. For example, we might receive evidence of a president's adultery or illicit money transfer records. A scholar may call them pieces of history, but to others, they are cursed objects meant to be destroyed. As to our part, we secretly store these controversial trinkets for safekeeping. And should the client request it, we'll dispose of their trash without hesitation. It's our duty to make clients feel safe, that they might entrust their disposables to this island nation we call Japan. So, it's like a giant safety deposit box. Precisely. Each storage container is lined with lead, so even x-rays can't make out their contents. In addition, the interiors are also vacuum sealed to prevent degradation. Naturally, that demands a rather high premium, but we still find ourselves with new inventory almost every day. I swear, what'll you Yakuza think up next? Oh, this isn't just some Seryu clan racket. It's our front corporation. Right, so this is where you're sending those who want out? Yes. The Omi and Tojo's dissolution changed everything. Many Yakuza who are unable to reintegrate into society have since returned. Not everyone can weather those five long years. And thus, the Yakuza is all they have. Whatever their reasons, it's estimated they number over 10,000. There's still that many? Far as they're concerned, the best option is to side with smaller local groups like the Seryu clan. Provided at least one organization remains, they will no doubt continue to seek them out. For this reason, Chairman Takabe plans to coordinate with all remaining Yakuza clans and quickly dissolve them as well. What? You mean all at once? The Yomei Alliance of Hiroshima, the Kitikata family of Hokkaido, the Ryudo family of Okinawa, 
Those are just the start, as he's secretly in touch with many other groups as well. He's aptly called this plan the Second Great Dissolution. Should it succeed, then the Yakuza will truly be a thing of the past. I have been acting on his behalf, carefully advancing the plan while he's away. Never knew Takabe had his sights set so high. In order to avoid the hardship caused by the first dissolution, the second will only be carried out once we've secured enough jobs. To that end, we've been expanding our business in numerous areas. Frankly, not all of them have been successful, but we can't afford to let that slow us down. We must give all we have to the task at hand. So the second great dissolution. When exactly are you guys planning to pull the trigger? When the time is right. That's all I can say for now. You've told us so much already, even though we just met. But seriously, it means a lot. Kasuga-san. Adachi-san. I'm well aware of all the work you two have done in rehabilitating former Yakuza. That said, I am also aware of your current predicament. Uh? Despite this, let me assure you that our goals are the same. Masumi Arakawa's last wish. His incredible dream of giving every last Yakuza a chance at normal life. Would you entrust that to us? Kasuga-san, Adachi-san. Sasaki! Guess you really were here after all, huh? Uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, <laughs> well, uh, to be honest, I came here with the intent of joining the Seiryu clan. Uh, but thankfully, Ebina-san said I could stay a civilian. You've got nothing to apologize for. If you're okay with this, then you have my support. We will take responsibility and look after Sasaki-san from here on. Is that all right with you? Honestly, it's amazing what you guys have done. Makes me wonder why I even bothered trying to do it on my own. Anyway, Abinasan, I ultimately just want to say thank you. This might sound kind of presumptuous of me, but if I may, could I ask you see this through? That no man gets left behind? Yes, of course. I'll see that it's done. Kazuka-san. Hmm? Provided you still have time, there's someone I'd like you to see. Yeah? I mean, sure. I've got nothing but time right now. Glad to hear it. In that case, allow me to give him a call. That won't be necessary. <laughs> well then, it would appear he's already here. <laughs> No way. It's been a while, Ichi. Holy shit. Captain Sawashiro. No, it's fine. Old habits die hard, huh? <laughs> Captain Sawashiro! I, I thought you were in the slammer! W what are you doing here? You were found guilty. You killed the Seiryu chairman. As far as Ebbing is concerned, 
You're public enemy number one, right? At a glance, I'd say he's treating you like the opposite. You know, for a dumbass, you're pretty perceptive, huh, Ichi? And I see you're at it with that. Would it kill you to be nice for once? <laughs> I guess old habits really do die hard. So they do. So, uh, what exactly is going on? Well, long story short, I wasn't the one who killed Chairman Hoshino four years ago. What? late to the party, aren't you? <laughs> Seems even Hoshino got sick of waiting. Young master, what have you done? Yeah, I should be asking you. The ruthless Captain Sawashiro I once knew never dragged his ass. But I have a theory. You let it slip that someone was after the old man's head. Didn't you? Yeah. If all went according to plan, Ichiban would come save the day before you made the hit. That's what you were banking on, right? Well, change of plans. I see. So you sent a guy in ahead of me to ensure the job was done. I'll make sure the credit goes to you. If it gets around that you off the Seiryu clan chairman, <laughs> well, you're sure to impress a cellmate or two. So then... That means I'd lost your trust some time ago, young master. You're wrong there, Sawashiro. You never had my trust to begin with. So someone else got to him before you even had the chance. Right. Then the young master played you as well. And even knowing that, you still took the fall. Well, I can't deny I was on my way to kill the chairman. Maybe I did pray for a sort of miracle. That by some chance I wouldn't have to. But it would have been too shameless of me to plead innocence. You had your reasons. I'm sure a lot was going through your head at the time, yeah? Uh, it's true. I suppose I was trying to atone for my sins somehow. <sighs> it was clear the young master... No. My own son... was only sinking deeper into the abyss. I spoiled him. And Arakawa-san's death was a direct result of that. In truth... I might have prevented it, but instead I pushed him to do it. Once they put me in prison, I thought I'd just be counting down the rest of my days. But someone put that countdown on hold. That someone was Ebina. A man claiming to be his attorney came to visit. He told me he could prove me innocent, that he wanted to appeal for a retrial. 
So Ebina knew the truth? Did he know about Chairman Hoshino? That there was another killer? Yeah. He's a sharp one, that guy. Real young, full of energy type. He did everything he could to get me out of prison. It was all to serve his goal. To start up the Second Great Dissolution. You even heard it yourself just now. Arakawa still had a lot more to do before he passed. I get it. You couldn't be the one Yakuza left out of all this. <laughs> no way. I'm the guy that turned from the Tojo to the Omi, incited a war and went on an all-out rampage in the process. Get someone like me on your leash, and even a fresh face like Ebina's sure to turn a few heads. To keep the strays in line, you need someone who can bark over them. I suppose that's why he brought me in. Sounds like you got the short end of that one. I'd say it's the perfect job for me. <laughs> all things considered. If nothing else, it sure beats pretending to atone for my sins in some cell. Captain... I had asked Ebina to bring you here tonight, but... it wasn't so I could talk about myself. I know I have no right, Ichi, but I have a favor to ask you. A favor? From me? It's a rush job, too. Let me hear it first. I don't exactly want to bite off more than I can chew, you know? Well, as I understand it, you're fresh out of a job, right? I'm sure you'll find the time. <sighs> so, Sawashiro so asks you a favor and without any clue as to what it is, you run off and snag a passport. Sir, yes sir, eh? That's one way to put it. Well, whatever his favor is, I imagine you'll be heading overseas, right? Passport ain't good for much else. He's gonna fill me in later today. Said he'll be waiting at Heian Tower. Are you gonna be okay by yourself? I mean, can we really trust Sawashiro? You know, I think if he was gonna hurt me, he'd have done it by now. That's a fair point. Not only that, I'm out of work with plenty of time to spare. Figured I'd just go meet him. I'd feel bad turning him down at this point, especially after he came to me for help. Guess we're all going to Heian Tower then. <laughs> You're not the only one with time on his hands after all. I've got some more fight in me.